Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Queen G. I'm the Light, and I'm back with another one. God bless. God bless you. <laughs> I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations, and you're not letting nobody dim your light. I want to give honor to the Most High, Almighty God, at this time. Praises to the Most High, Almighty God. To the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, to um, the Messiah. I want to thank the Holy Spirit for another day, for the tools, for the downloads, for the victory, Lord. We thank you for the victory in the name of Jesus. Praises to your holy, holy name. Oh, thank you, Lord. God says he loves you. Mm-hmm. And I want to um, say hi to Bay. Hi, handsome. Over there in the land I want to be in. <laughs> I can't wait to be with Bay. I cannot wait. And after I say all that, the glasses go on. <laughs> I want to say hi to um, a few people. I want to say hi to Mr. Miller that said, um, thank you for the compliment. God bless. I appreciate you. Um, I want to say hi to La Quinta. Or is it um, La Quanda? I said La Quinta. Why did I say that? And see, that's the devil because I know your name very well. You got me through a lot of sad days you don't even know. Your humor. I watch you. I follow you on FB and also on YouTube. I assume you're on Instagram and TikTok and everywhere, but you know, like I said, I don't do that. But, um, Laquanda and your kids and your beautiful wife, y'all do some great skits and y'all are so talented. And I thank you so very much. And God bless you. I want to say also hi to Christy's show. Um, if I'm pronouncing that right and if I'm not pronouncing it right, forgive me. You are so, so hilarious. The church lady. Um, you are so talented. Y'all, when, when people get together, when we get together and make us some movies, all of this raw good talent that I see that need, that deserves a chance to be on the big screen. I'm talking about some good movies that can be put out there because there's so much talent. So many good, funny, fresh, new comedians. Mm -hmm. And y'all know I like me some humor. So I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Bay, do you watch those people? Bay is always checking out for new stuff in you, Bay. Um, if I I think that when I say a name, I think Bay looks it up, and maybe he doesn't, but I have a feeling that he does. And um, I don't just waste my time on nobody, but man, if you can give me a good laugh, you about got me. Yeah, you got me when you can give me a good butt gut butt gut busting laugh. Um, it was a lot of sad days, and some days I just needed a good laugh. And I might have even said it on the comments in your videos that I don't really appreciate y'all. I needed this laugh today. Well, I'm not coming with humor today. I'm coming with the word of the Lord. So I want to get it in and uh, do my duty and mosey on my way. It seems like every time I turn this, this um, video on, I get hot. I don't have an air on. Um, and I've been doing a little cleaning, bae. Oh, it's so much stuff in here, bae. Oh, my goodness. It's so much stuff. Oh, before I get started, I have to say a few things. So, I think we eliminated the problem with the knocking on the door of the lawnmower, man. But, as I made that statement yesterday and told y'all how my son tricked me and he likes to play, we, you know, we, we were, uh, we've always been a family of pranksters. Uh, funny things that we've done, like how they scared my ex when um, my son used to, he's really like was into some Halloween major, like he would go and rent 
him a um, suit or go buy him some kind of costume and go to a Halloween party every year. And he would always buy these really cre creepy masks. And he bought this, um, the scary, I guess it's like a devil or a, not, a, I don't know what it was, but it was scary. Anyway, he came on the side of my bedroom window and my scary ex was sitting in the room and he scared the crap out of my scary ex. Funny times. Good times. Good laughs. Anyway, so last night I'm sitting in my room. Mind you, I'm lying down now. Um, and I'm comfortable in my undies. Yes, I was. This is the truth. Shame. The tell the truth and shame the devil. I'm in my undies, okay? I told y'all I likes to do this. This is my house and I live here. It's my house and I live here. Yeah, it's my house and I live here. So I'm sitting on the bed, minding my business, and I, I, I hear a knock or two. I'm like, golly, it's about 7 o'clock that night. 6.37. Is it now they have the nerve to come and knock on my bedroom window and on my back window so I think it's my son so I have to find me something to put on I'm like they're knocking hard so I'm like okay okay all right I'm coming so I throw something on and I go to the back door and I just open it like okay it's open I don't think it's him and then I he doesn't come through the back door so I go to the front and open the front door and swing it open it's my father standing in the yard I think that he watched my video and found out that if you knock on my back window, you can get in. I'm about sick of this. That's why I said, I see why people live in communities with gated, gated communities, bae. When I got rid of one, here comes another one. And I didn't even, I wasn't even prepared. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I was in my comfort zone. I'm sick of it. I open the door and he looks at me and he tells me he's going to Texas and something. I don't care. But I wasn't rude because he caught me off guard. I really was just trying to get close my door. So I just told him, hey, I'm still on isolation. I'm doing something for the Lord. He said, how long is it going to take you? Yeah, I said, a couple more months. Well, I need my hair done next month in June. I'm going down for, I don't care. I didn't say it at the time, but now that I think about it, I really don't care. I don't. You need to cut it off anyway. Bae, do you do appointments? Um, do you do same-day appointments? Like if someone hits you up early in the morning and um, you, you already had things planned for that day, do you stop and, and do the cut for the person even though they didn't hit you up a day or two before and make an appointment the correct way. Because I got that done to me this morning. And it actually is somebody I like. But, you know, um, here I am. Because all that happened yesterday. I'm in a mind frame like, whoo, nobody's going to bother me today. I am free, really. Like, I thought I was free yesterday. But today, I thought I was going to be free, like, free of anybody. Everybody should have been taken care of. And I told my father, he said, well, I'll wait on you. You're not going to wait on me. Because you turned around and said you were going to wait on me, but then turned around and said you needed your hair done. And I said, don't you see this note on my door? It means I don't want to be bothered with anybody, really. And so, um, he said, yeah, I saw it. Well, okay. Anyway, I don't care about the money. And I I close a shop down where I was making some money um, because I prefer my peace over anything, my sanity. And to be takes that, it kind of took me aback. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I was like, what? Today is a day where you want to be with your family, supposedly. You want to relax, you know, before the week starts. I know y'all look at me and like, what is she talking about? You said you don't have a 9 to 5. I don't have a 9 to 5. But it don't mean I don't go through things and I, I like me a day to myself. I need that, bae. Bae, um, I was looking at some big, beautiful houses. I'm trying to look at floor plans and things of that because, you know, I just really love houses. And I love interior decorating and all that good stuff, right? 
And the ones, that, and I'm like, okay, type it in. And now it's showing me something I'm not even interested in. But I, you know, when you're dreaming, you see all the great stuff. But when you get, you, when you start really getting down serious and you want to really be serious about, okay, this is what I want. Couldn't find nothing really like. But anyway, to make a long story short, babe, I'm going to need my own personal space, like my own personal room. Just as you, um, somewhere it's going to be my little girly cave. And if not that, then maybe a little, um, lady shack in the back or something. I need my own little personal space where I can do all my creative things like my paintings, listen to my music, um, chill by myself, you know, gather myself. If I want to write there or whatever I want to do, do my work there, maybe have a little place off where I have an office space or something I'm gonna be needing that I'm not gonna be all up under you all the time babe you need your space as well but I'm gonna have to tell the um the man the young man that I don't do same day appointments I've been trying to get my my clients to understand this for years you know they think that you're supposed to be available at every every drop of a dime like when um I was so one 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 lady texts me and asks me can I cut her son's hair today and I said I'm in I'm in another part of I'm in Norman. She said, well, what time are you gonna get back? See, so you don't even have to give a person an excuse. You just really just tell them no, not today. I got plans. I'm not gonna stop my plans to do a haircut. And so um and I'm not and I'm not to be bought. See the the the. The root of all evil is the love of money. And I don't love money. I love God and I love myself and I love my peace and I love my happiness. And I love my bae. And if I was with bae and somebody texts me, hey, can you cut my hair today? It would be very annoying. So no, I cannot. I will not. Mm -mm, no. Um, I think Lady Sophia is more here than ever now. Because she's the one that tells me, no, you're not going to put up with that. They need to respect you better than that. Mm, all of them. Everybody is going to put some respect on my name. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, that's the truth. Okay. Let's do the energy that I didn't finish yesterday. Quite a bit. Look at all these. Stack. I didn't do them yesterday. These were the ones on the floor, but these were the ones in the when I had in the car yesterday that was in the bag that I didn't read. Let me drink a little bit of water. The ones on the floor, let's do them first. So the first one out is I see the light channel. You two prophetess. God is love. This is the truth. Um, I have a lying problem. No, I don't have a lying problem, but somebody does. And it says slipping through the cracks because I'm slimy. Well, if this person is with the lying problem and a runner is, is a chaser now. And it says the battle is already won. You're free. I mean, we're talking about the freedom, right? That's what we were talking about yesterday that I'm just going to start working on something. I want my people to be treated right. Every blessing ignored becomes a curse. When you don't welcome change. Y'all gonna change. And um, spying on you. I know they be spying on me, bae. They spying on me. There goes that deflowered one again. And it says, you don't want them. I sure don't. And this is somebody, and somebody has, is want to offer somebody sex payments. And want to give somebody sex for, uh, um, in exchange for something. That's called prostitution. Okay, let's see what these are. No one's in the car. Okay, some of them are. Some of them are just blank that I was going to write on. I like to take a few with me in case I have some downloads and I can write on them immediately. Like my ex used to say, immediately. <laughs> yeah, my, immediately. Immediately. No, immediately. Immediately. No, immediately. Immediately. <laughs> and I can't talk because you lately I've been talked on big time. 
Well, you say we out of that retrograde? Good. Okay. So, um, we got a high roller, big boss energy in here. Not to be messed with or misunderstood. That's Bay. Bay's a high roller. My son said today, he says, I like his style. The, the pictures that you have shown me of him. He's pretty, he got a nice dress for a, uh, a person of his age. Hey, watch your mouth now. Don't talk about Bay. No. He's, I said, yeah, he does. And I'm so sorry because I make... I make my son so uncomfortable because I go a whole different level with Bay. I mean, y'all see, I do. I be like, yeah. Oh, he's so fine to me. Boy, I'm going to tear him up. I have to stop myself. <laughs> Bay's a big boss. Boss man, stand up. Let's see. What if I said two can play that game? What if I stooped low and debased and degraded you? Uh oh. Um, somebody we have morals and values here. We don't want to even come into those energies where people people we want to start a fight with you. And I, you know, I I got a prayer here today. This is something that I wrote today that I just want to say, you know, this is gonna this I'm about to take this to a whole nother level. I'm coming I'm coming with, with bigger guns. Yeah. And and don't say, you know, you two don't don't take it personally and you know. And, and and give me a spanking because I said the G word. I don't mean it like that. I'm talking about my strategy is going to get tighter and my game going to get tighter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to elevate. I'm getting stronger. It's no stopping me. It's no stopping me. As a matter of fact, I don't know how far I'm going. But I know God I got something special for me. Look, y'all, I had to put this one up here. I was, uh, my, my picture was crooked. I reached up there to try to straighten it out, and the whole thing fell out. Bam. So when my son was over here, he mowed the lawn for me today. And when he came in, I said, hey, stand up there and just tap it that real fast. Put that up there for mama. And he did. Okay, so who that loves money? Aha. Uh -huh. That's what I was just saying. And this is yesterday's energy, though. Who that loves money never has enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. Ecclesiastes 5 and 10. They just be one mo. And like, um, yeah, I could use a couple more dollars in my pocket today. But to the inconvenience, um, the young man said, I mean, he might be watching because I told him to watch the videos. And if you are, I love you. You know, it's all good. You, you, we cool with each other. But what I'm saying is, um, you asked me, was I free? Um, yeah, I'm free. I'm free. Um, I'm free of, of, of the grip or the hold of money. Money, um, but I'm free, but my time ain't free. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know you are paying me for a haircut. My haircut's about to go up. And matter of fact, I don't even know, bae. I really don't even know. If I want to continue to cut hair, I'm so beat down by the industry. They're just tired. And barbering is one of the most stressful jobs. Yeah, doing people's hair and trying to please people and stuff. And then they call you, um, ask you, can you come? Can, at, at, at some of the strangest times of the day and night, for a haircut, you know, put you out your way sometimes. Y'all don't see it like that, but it's true. We just, we're not, we, we are people. We're not, we're not property, you know. We have lives. We, we like to go and go to church on Sundays or whatever or uh, like to spend time with our families or we might have something we want to, be, you know, plan to do. Um, but, you know, nothing personal. I mean, it would just be like a, somebody annoying you all the time. It would be very annoying if you if you was the shoe was on the other foot. I have eight oh eight here guides you to where your um, dreams are and provides uh, encouragement so that you may be able to take advantage of all the opportunities in your path. All right, now I like that one, and it says I've been playing games. Somebody's been playing games, and they need to quit it. It's immature. That's what I'm saying. Here we go. Malicious. When somebody just be just tic-tac-tac, okay, they be um trying to just, if they could just see you, your temper raised or your, you know, 
put you out your way or make you um see if they can, you know, get you a little frustrated. No, Satan. I have malicious, dirty, malevolent, malevolent, um, honorary, bad tempered, wishy, wishy washy, um, wash piss, wash piss, readily expressing anger or irritation, um, bull headed, pig headed, mulish, mulish, I'm sorry, um, being stubborn. Um, these are touchy subjects we're talking about. It'd be touchy subjects when people, you know, I don't be want to even tell. Like my son said, if you don't want to do, you know, uh, grandpa's hair, tell grandpa. If you're done with grandpa, tell grandpa. Because you, if you don't tell him, he's going to continue to do it. And it's all it's doing is frustrating you. It's like you nitpicking at me. Um, I, what if I came over your house, the way your house all locked up? Can't nobody get in there. And I start bamming and tapping on y'all's windows. That's disrespectful. If you're worried about me, you could send could have sent a cop over here to do a security check. You're not worried about me. All you want to do is get up in here to me. What for? All the years of my life, you stayed gone from me. And now you're up here and you... No, man. And this is just normal. It's normal. Look, I'm missing you, baby. And then my, my dad, y'all know my dad called me baby. And I'm just sick of it. Like, no, I'm not your baby. I'm grown woman. I'm Bay's baby. <laughs> I'm Bay's baby now. Let's see. Bay's the one that gives me sugar. He, he's, that's what my dad used to be. Give me the sugar. I don't want to. No. Uh-uh. It's over. And this is this is Lady Sophia talking. She don't want to kiss you. The feeling of excitement. The feeling of excitement that Lady Sophia is gonna have when she gets to her her kingdom husband. And she already we already know who he is, right? I'm back. Yeah. I want that good sugar. That's the good sugar. Um, heavy on the mind. Guilt will consume them. Mm. And the last one is, they dream about your first date. Babe, do you be dreaming about my first date with you? I do. I do. I just going to have to be so strong. When they drop me back off at the house, I'm going to be like, okay, it's been nice. No kissy on the first date, babe. No kissy on the second one. And no kissy on the third. You might get a peck on the cheek on the fourth one. But dang, we got to go through all of them dang on dates. I just, I feel like we already been dating the spirit. They knows what I like. And uh, I wonder what color bay. What's your favorite color bay? How can you tell me that without telling me? What is your favorite color? I sure would like to know that. My favorite color. I think yours is red. If I'm not mistaken. But it may be a different color. It might be black. It looks like you wear um, a lot of darker colors, maybe. But um, I think, you know, my color, my favorite color is turquoise. And then, then red and purple. But see, I just love the rainbow. Yeah, pretty, pretty colors. But if I really was going to go down, I like me some hot pink, too. It's so girly. Anyway, let's get it in. Something I wrote. I wouldn't say this is a prayer, but it could be said it's a prayer. So we can just say it's a prayer, and I'm just going to read it. And just it's, it's just things that I want to talk to God about. So I'm talking to... Excuse me, that water. I'm talking to God. That's what I'm talking to. I'm talking to my sweet Jesus. Let me see this real fast, and I might be able to pull some energy for today. It says, help me to not judge by my natural eye or ears. Grant me the power to see the spirit that is behind every person. I mean, every, I don't want to not know. Um, I want to see every spirit that stands behind every person. Not just the evil ones, the good ones as well. Um, give me the power to read energy of all people that 
stand before me and protect me from their plots that come by hate, that come by spells on me to destroy your works. Give me the eyes to see, to, to see the unseen. Give me the tools, Holy Ghost, to see their intentions before their traps to bind me. Destroy all of their tricks and the things they use to lure and persuade, seduce, arouse, or tempt me. Amplify my powers to see the spirit and approach all evil spirits with no fear and call it out of its hiding places. Knock down, tear down, blow down, dismantle, demolish all Satan's plots, ploys to attack me. Your tactics against me will not work. We send back all the envy of Satan. What pain you bring to our doorstep will not enter. What spell you try to place on us to reduce us will be stopped. And we will continue to prosper in the name of Jesus. For what God wants for us, we will have in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And what God has for us will prosper in the name of Jesus. And, um, oh, I'm the wrong way. I declare over all promises, small and large, I declare that all holds um, of discrimination of all kinds be destroyed in the name of the mighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan lose the grip of my brothers. Let my sisters free. Um, those that are lost, we pray that they be found. Your hold is not strong enough for my Lord. Your grip is weak. Your division and barriers are brought down by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus covers my family, my job, my steps, my mind, my breath. There is nothing you can do to stop the love of God. My King, the great Messiah, the head of our lives, the creator of the universe, and we will continue to sing and shout praises all day of our lives and every day of our lives. Glory, glory, hallelujah. God has the victory. He is in control of all things. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and a a amen. <laughs> amen. 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 All the children. Amen. Okay, y'all probably want to put y'all finger up like this and leave the church right now because Sister So and So is uh, always singing off tune. Amen. 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 And amen. Jesus is good. I love this word. Yes, I do. Praise is to the Most High. Almighty God, we got a little time, just a little, Spirit speak, speak Lord, speak to them, speak to them, them want to know, 